Hello, I'm Naya, and I am going to show you how to create a dust cover in Cricut Design Space. I want to first start with the circle. So if you have like a straight sided uh, vessel or the Libby jars, all you need to do is get the diameter of the interior. So the inside diameter is what you need to start with. I normally may subtract like a 16th of an inch or an eighth of an inch just to have a little bit of wiggle room so it doesn't fit completely snug. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I will start with, I have a diameter of three inches. So what I first need to do is go over and select the shapes. So I'm gonna to go to shapes and I'm gonna select circle. So the circle comes in and it shows me the dimensions. Now, if your screen is reduced, you might see more. I just wanna show you that part. So right now it doesn't show where I can change the dimensions of the circle. So I would have to go to more and there's where your position, rotate and size. We wanna adjust the size. So I'm gonna go ahead and maximize again, but I wanna show you that just in case you do not see what I see on my screen. So I selected the circle and the size I said it's gonna be a three inch in diameter. So I'm gonna hit three, then I'm gonna tab over and then it automatically adjusted the height. So the width and the height is three. And that is because there's this lock right here and that lock, what it does, it maintains the proportions. So whatever size, like say for example, I hit two and I hit tab, it's gonna go down to two. If I hit three, like we want, it's gonna go up to three. They're both going to adjust accordingly to the proportions. So the next thing we need to do is I want to create a hole for my wick. So what I need to do is select shapes, and a circle. And so for my hole, I want that to be just under a quarter inch. I'm gonna go with 0.2. And this is if I'm going to do a cotton wick. If you're gonna do like the wooden wick, you would do a rectangle at this time. But for this one, I wanna do a, a cotton wick. So my diameter is gonna be 0.2. And then I'm just gonna tab over so it adjusts accordingly. So great. I'm gonna go and change that color so you can see. So I'm gonna go all the way up. So I have to select it first. So again, I have to select the shape, go up to operation and click where it's grayed out because that's the color and change it. All right, now I wanna select both of the shapes. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna hover down in the lower right corner. It really doesn't matter, but this is a room for comfort. And I'm gonna hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna get this window right here. And you see where the window is? It's gonna cover both of those and I wanna select it. Now I want to go up to align. Again, you have to have both shapes selected and I wanna do center. And it puts it right in the center for me. This is great because that's exactly what I want. So I am going to go ahead and just slice it out right now. So what I want to do is select it again. See how I went in the upper right corner. So it doesn't matter if you're in the lower or, or upper. So upper right, all I'm doing is I'm holding down the left mouse button and then releasing it once I'm over both of the shapes. And I'm going to select slice. And then it's gonna cut a hole right in the middle. So all I'm gonna do is take this large circle and kind of move it out the way and then click over because it created actually two circles and I'm gonna delete them. So I'm gonna select over there and I can go to the right side and hit delete. All right, so now I have this. So far it's looking good. So the next thing I wanna do is, let me just go ahead and add my tab right now. So I'm gonna go over to the shapes, add circle, 
And this time I don't want to lock the proportion. So I'm gonna hit this unlock while I have to have it select at first and then hit unlock. And then my comfort zone for this is about one inch by maybe about a half inch. So I can manually size it or I can just select it and go up to size and type in 0.5 by one. And it's a little okay. Let's let's get it a little bit wider. Let's just come out just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna manually manually make those adjustments. Now I'm just going to bring it right on over here. And I'm gonna select both of those, kind of get it close, and then go to align. And I just wanna align it. Let's see. Let's do center horizontal and it just moves it to the center of it and that's perfect. And now what I wanna do while they're both selected, if you accidentally click off, all you do is do that click, drag over the two shapes and it selects them both. And I want to weld it together because I want it to be one piece. So I'm gonna go over to the right side and click on weld. Perfect, so that's that little tab that you have that comes up. So when you wanna take your dust cover off, you just grab the tab. So you're not kind of digging into that dust cover. Okay, so, so far so good, everything is looking nice. Now I just wanna add a few things in here. I wanna add maybe the name of my company or you can upload an image, maybe your logo, you can do that. And then you can add some designs in here. You could do it however you like. But the first thing I'm going to do is I want to add some text. Now what I typically use on mine is I go to font. So let me show that again. I'm going to select text. I'm going to go up where the toolbar is and select font. So the toolbar is like up top. I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to go over to system because if I go to Cricut, I'm going to have to pay for them. Unless you have access, you can have um, at least a hundred of fonts for free, but I don't have access. So I'm just gonna go over to system and I'm just gonna pick something that is readable and that people can see. So again, I, I want it to be legible. So let's just go with an Arial. And I'm gonna type in the name of my company. And it's okay that it's too large. I just wanna get that up there first before I make adjustments. So this is gonna be the name of the company. And one thing I wanna do is I wanna fix my alignment. I want it to be centered. And then now I can kind of reduce it. So when I reduce it, I just grab on the right where it has like the moving the arrows that go diagonally. And I'm gonna put it right here. And then one thing I can do is that center again. So what I wanna do is click off and then do the drag with the window, go up to alignment. And this time I want to center horizontally again. And so it adjusted it. So everything is in the center that I selected. So now I wanna add like, let's say some other text. How about remove? cover before lighting because I don't want anybody to accidentally light the cover my dust cover will it while it's on so I'm going to put that on there just for liability you know hopefully nobody will do that but I'm just going to put that on there and then I can select it all again and then just to get the alignment center it just adjusted a little bit we just want it to be just right Okay, so now the next thing I want to maybe insert some images. So let's go into images. And I want to select some of the free ones. So I'm gonna go down to ownership, go to free. I'm just gonna scroll down and find some cute stuff that I wanna insert just to enhance my dust cover. And again, this is just showing you how to do this using the tools that you have access to on Cricut Design Space. You can always upload your own 
images and play, put those in place. I know I looked on here before and I saw something really cute that I wanted to incorporate. Some lips. Let's bring in some lips. And it comes in a little large, larger than, and so to adjust it, we need to go in that lower right and make the appropriate adjustments. So I wanna put one over here and I wanna make those, um, I'm gonna change the color to red, but I'll do that in just a second. And then the next thing I wanna do is copy it. So I'm gonna go to the right and hit duplicate. And so now I have it duplicated and I'm gonna move it to the right. And with it selected, I actually wanna flip it. I wanna mirror it. So I'm gonna flip horizontally and it just gave me kind of like a mirrored image of the other one. So now that looks pretty cool. Let's see. It's pretty simple, it's to the point, and I wanna change these lips to red. So now I wanna make some color changes. So I'm gonna go up here, and change it to red. Let's go with this one. Red, and I have to change this background to white. So you want, it says on the right side, the weld result. So that's where it has the circle and it also has the tab. I want to change that to white. Otherwise, it's gonna print gray. So I changed it to white. All right, now everything is looking good. I think this is how I want it to be. So the next thing you do is you select everything and you go over to the right and you go to flatten. All right, so that is very important you do that so you don't have your text being cut out. So if you look to the right where the layers are, it, you can see the outline of what it's going to look like. You can't see it on here because you have, it's white. We wanna print it on white cardstock and so it's gonna come out. So what I can do is show you, I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna make a square. And so I'm gonna make it large and you see it's in front of it. I need to move it underneath. So you select the square, go to arrange and move or send to back. So now you can see it. And that's just for you to be able to see. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that square, select it and I can hit the X and it's gone. So that's my dust cover. All I need to do now is go to make it. and then it's reading it. And so, so far I have one, but I believe I can fit a total of four. So I can hit apply on one sheet. And there goes four of them. And so you go to continue. And what you, what you want it to do is connect your machine. So if you have the Maker or the Explorer Air or the Explorer Air 2, you can do this. If you have the Joy, you are not able to do a print and cut. So now I need to send the printer. And so it gives me a print setup. So you want to locate your printer. So mine is a Canon. I only wanna do one copy. I'm removing the bleed. So right now it shows to have the bleed on. That is good for if you're doing a full colored background and you want it to extend beyond the print cut. And then that way it could be a full bleed, a full color. So I'm gonna remove that. And then I typically use the system dialog box and then another one will come up, but you don't have to. And for this sake purpose, I can hit that and then print. And then it'll automatically send. But before I do that, let me go ahead and load my printer with 65 pound cardstock. So that is the weight that I'm using. I'm using a white 65 pound cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead 
and hit print. And if you do have this turned on, sometimes it may appear behind your screen. So you might have to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print. And see how the dialog box pops up. Normally, I think it's on the Mac. When I use that, it pops up behind it and I have to move things around. And I just hit print. And now it's being sent to the printer. So the first thing it's gonna do is print. Once it's finished printing, I have another screen where it says set base material. So since I have the maker, I have to use the screen and it's the light cardstock 65 pound. It needs to match whatever material you are using. So if you are using another, um, like the Air Explorer, you might have to use the dial on the actual machine in order to get the light cardstock. So once it's done printing, we will select light cardstock and then it's going to ask the to load. Once it's loaded, it's going to read the registration marks and then it's going to make the cut. And then you will have your dust cover. Thank you so much for joining me.